Welcome back fans of all things Disney. Today we did another shopping trip to the two character warehouse locations, one on Vineland Ave and one on International Drive. And as you're going to see in the haul video, there were a ton of amazing items. The good thing is that I also stopped off at both locations very quickly last week. So what they didn't have last week, I was able to pick up some of this week and it rounded out to a very nice haul so hopefully you will enjoy now clothing sizes as always it just depended on what they had available but i was able to get quite a few of the lounge fly bags not anywhere near as many doonies as what was requested and certainly not the styles that were requested but i do have a nice selection of fun items now if you are new to the channel Anything that you see in the haul video that I indicate is an extra, you are welcome to claim that just by sending me an email at mickeysmagicaldelivery at gmail.com. Most people already have open orders, meaning I actually shopped for certain items for them, but that's fine if you do not. You just send me an email. Again, it's mickeysmagicaldelivery at gmail.com. Let me know what items you are interested in. If I still have it, I can certainly set that aside for you. One thing to keep in mind is that the shopping fee absolutely does apply, even if it is an extra. The shopping fee is 20% of your merchandise cost with a $10 minimum shopping fee. So just keep that in mind. It does add up, so make sure that you're watching your budget if you would like to claim any of the extras. And there will be plenty of extras in this haul video. One other thing to keep in mind, if you do see something that you would like to claim for yourself and you're going to send more than one email, please make sure that they are individual emails. If you send me an email and then you send me another one on the same thread, it will drop the first email to the bottom of the queue and I go by what was received um, first. So you just wanna make sure that you're not pulling your own email out of the line by sending me another one. So send as many individual emails as you need to. Uh, if you're watching something in minute two and you want to send an email and then you see something in minute 20, it's completely up to you. It certainly doesn't bother me and it would certainly help to keep you in the line as you are sending them. If you have any other questions, please feel free to send me an email at mickeysmagicaldelivery at gmail.com. But let's get right into the haul video because there are some awesome goodies. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and start over here on the main table. I'm going to go ahead and move down to this side. I did pick up quite a few of these awesome Sorcerer Mickey hats. I want to say those are $3.99, and I think I have about five extra of those. I have several of the Ewok wristlet for $20.99. Those are lounge flies. I also have a few of the rainbow wristlets. I believe a couple of them are extras for $20.99. And I want to say I have about four R2-D2 extras as well, also for $20.99. I was able to pick up a few more of the 12 Days of Socks, and I believe I have four boxes. Three of those are extras. You can see this amazing Dooney Haunted Mansion tote here. They had that for, it was originally $2.68, and those are typically um, half price. So you have to figure that one out. I want to say it would be what about $134, $134.99, but I'll just double check the receipt, but that is the typical price for those. This Empire Strikes Back hat was a specific request, so it is not available, but they only had this one. Um, I did not see any others in the store, and that was $3.99, but they did have a whole bunch of those water bottle carriers like they had the last time and I ran out of those. So I grabbed a whole bunch more of those. Can't remember offhand what those are, maybe $3.99 or $2.99, but I'll check the receipt. The black ears with the red bow, I was able to get only 10 of those. So I'm not gonna be able to fill all of the orders that I had on those, but I do have the 10. Now these were an item that I picked up last week, not this week. They did not have these anywhere around, understandably with Easter coming up. But you can see here, I have a few different styles. I have Minnie Mouse, I have Flounder, Mickey, and then Ariel as well. And these are just like little lanyards and you can put little treats inside there. Um, I cannot remember exactly, I wanna say they are $1.99, so a very reasonable price. And then in addition to that, speaking of Easter, they also had these awesome Tiki Room 
um, eggs. And these were, let's see, I thought these were marked. I think these were $10, but let me see if any of them are marked. I purchased those last week, not this week. So unfortunately, I do not remember, but I will double check that receipt for anybody who that wanted one of those. Now you can see all of these Lounge Fly Park Life bags. I do have quite a few of these because I purchased them last week when they were allowing you to take 10. So I have quite a few. I'm almost positive that I have every single one of my orders filled on this, which means I'm going to have a few extra if anybody still wanted one. Can't remember off the top of my head, but I think it was $37.99 if I'm not mistaken. Sully backpacks from Loungefly. I think I have one extra on those. Those were a little bit more expensive if I'm not mistaken. I think about $40.99. But again, I will check the receipt on those before I write your invoice. As far as ink and paint ornaments, these are $4.99. I have Dumbo, Mr. Toad, Fantasia, and then the penguins from Mary Poppins. I believe all of those are spoken for. But I do have a couple of extra of the Star Wars card holders. Now these are $6.99. You can take a look there at how awesome that is and what a great gift that would make for either Mother's Day or Father's Day. Then 99 cent bottles that they had from the Food and Wine Festival. I only have two of the Minnie Mouse, but I have a few of the Mickey with the Epcot globe. I have uh, a few of the Remy and then I also have a few of Figment. So if you wanted any of those for 99 cents, they certainly have them. Then I have an inside out play set that is claimed that was already spoken for, but they do still have those. I also picked up one of the Haunted Mansion 50th anniversary uh, Dooney and Burke crossbody bags for somebody that asked for a crossbody. Um, again, I'll have to just double check the receipt, but I want to say that that is down to under a hundred dollars. I will just double check that one before I send that invoice. I did pick up a few of the ink and paint cans. These were $5.99 and I have 10 of those. Maybe a couple are extra, um, but I'm not positive on that one. As far as magic bands, I do have a couple of extra of the light pink magic band for $7.99. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Magic Band, I believe are both spoken for, but there may be one extra. And I know that both of these are extras. These are Figment Food and Wine Festival Magic Bands for $8.99. Uh, these came from a canceled order. This is a pair of the Retro Crocs, size six, I believe. Unfortunately, not the size that I needed for somebody that wanted them this week. Um, they only have the smaller sizes currently left, but I had that left over from a canceled order if anybody would like those for $24.99. They do have some of the Pixar notepads, so let's just take a look. We'll open it up and show you in here. So if you are a Pixar fan, a little note set, and these are $4.99 down from $16.99. I have a Haunted Mansion card holder. Sorry for that little packet there, but Haunted Mansion Madame Leota card holder for $6.99. Then they have the ink and paint magnets. Now these do light up. I have done that in a previous video and I do not want to trigger anybody um, because of the flashing lights, but those are $5.99. Somebody requested this World of Pixar magnet. That is not marked, but they do still have quite a few of those. Then they have the Pixar ball card holder. I think I have one extra here for $6.99. 99 cent autograph books. I believe I have three extra if anybody needs one. Home is where the haunt is. This is a magnetic notepad. So you can see they're $4.99. And I have three of those. I believe all three of those are extras. I have a 2020 autograph and photo book. I have this down to $1.99 because I have had this for a few weeks. It came from a canceled order. Then let's see here, masks for $1.75. I picked up a few extra of different styles. I'm not even sure which ones are extra at this point, but I do have Tiki Bird in large. I have the Child in large. The Princess one, I believe, is extra in large. This one I know is spoken for, this Boo Halloween one in large. And then there is Star Wars and the Black Panther. Just to kind of give you a sense of some of the different ones that they have available. Lots of different smalls, a few mediums um, that they had. The larges are definitely starting to run low with a price like $1.75. It is certainly understandable that that would happen. But just to kind of give you a sense of what is still available there, lots of mediums of those. Then we have the dog ears. These are Minnie Mouse ears, but for the dog, and these are $5.99. And I do have one little Winnie the Pooh clip-on. I had over-purchased the last time, so I've got this one down to $10 if anybody would like that. 
I did pick up a few of these goofy hats. These have the long ears in there. So if anybody would like one of those, I do have a few of those. I think I purchased five and two of those are spoken for. Let's see if there's a price. They were mixed in with all of the $3.99 items, so I would imagine it's something similar to that. I believe I'm going to have one extra of the Rock and Roller Coaster kind of crossbody bags here. Let's just take a look and see if they are marked, and they are for $14.99. So I believe I have one extra if anybody would like that. Then there is a Loungefly Millennium Falcon backpack. This one is gorgeous, I have to say. This was originally $75, and I do not know because it is not marked exactly how much it was. I just know that somebody had asked for it. So I would say around $35, but that one is already claimed. Then they do have quite a few of the headbands. So these were $1.99. Some of these are from previous weeks. Others are from this week. So I have two, three Judy Hops actually. Um, I think I have one extra of the Simba. So you can see those ears. Sully, I might have one extra of the Sully. And then I also have a Mike Wazowski. And I believe that one is also extra. As far as ornaments, they had nothing new. I had a couple of requests for the fairy ornaments. So I picked those up. One for the little dash ornament, so I have that. I do have two of the Bermuda ornaments. My daughter had picked these up by accident a couple of weeks ago. I said six, I had purchased them for $6.99, but I just want them to go to a good home. So if anybody would like those $3 is more than enough for me. Mine, mine, mine uh, luggage tags for $3.99. I have three and those are all extras. Then we have a few of these mini Mickey cross body bags. These are double sided. So if anybody would like one for $9.99, I do have, I believe, two extra there. And then I have this awesome Mickey Mouse backpack. This one was a specific request. So this one is not an extra. But let's just see if it's tagged. And it is for $9.99 down from $29.99. So a great price there. And then the last thing over on this table, we have a lot of the Poison Apple Votive Holders. These are $4.99. And as you can see, I picked up two cases of those plus one. So I have nine of those available. Probably four of those are extras. All right, and then over to the other table. I didn't buy any extra plush, I do not believe. But um, I did want to show you some of the ones that I purchased for people that had requests. This one is a Jabba the Hutt plush. And unfortunately... Both stores are not doing a great job of marking the price on the item. So my apologies on that. Um, I also picked up this little Belle Animator plush in her little blue dress. There was a request for another Sven. Look at how cute he is. And then we have the um, black and kind of grayish, I would say, denim Minnie Mouse. They did not have any of the Mickey Mouse today's, today. And pe um, the person that asked for these wanted um, two of the pairs. So I don't know if they're still going to want these, but I picked them up anyway, and I can always keep a lookout for the Mickey. One of the Forky, though this one was a specific request, as are the two Cheshire Cat. Look at that little big feet. Such a cute stuffed animal. All right, and then on to some of these. So the World Traveler set, this is $4.99, and that one was a specific request. But I do have plenty of these awesome ink and paint keychains. You can kind of look and see here all the different charms that are on there. Just a cute, cute, cute keychain. I think those are $4.99. Then look at this Millennium Falcon keychain for $2.99. Then let's see here, these photo frames, those are both specific requests, but if you like the um, paper um, holders, can weight things down, paper weights, $3.99. Then you can see I've got, um, I think I actually have two of the Gorilla Wishables for $3.99 and one of the Waffle Wishable left. We could only find one of the letter mugs that um, they had available today for $5.99. That was it out of all the requests that we had. They're just running really low on the letters. I did pick up a couple more of the Castle Keychain sets. These were $6.99, and then I also picked up the little Minnie Mouse ones. Those were also $6.99 couple of the food and wine keychains so that you could see that. I want to say these were $1.99, so a great price. This one I just happened to have in my bin. It was already specifically requested, um, but they did not have this in either store this week, so it's a good thing I had one left over in my bin. Then let's see here. Um, there was a request for the up phone case for iPhone X, which I was able to get today. 
49 cent zipper pulls. There's the Wally, Baymax, Bride and Groom, Stitch, Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Alien. Here's a pin that somehow ended up getting left over here. And then a couple of the um, different kind of plush, not plush, but they're like um, squishy keychains. They're like a squishy plastic or vinyl keychain. Then there was a request for a letter K trinket box, and those are only $7.99. They had a few more letters of these, but not all of the ones that I needed. Magnet sets, I have one extra of this for $5.99 if anybody needed that. The button set for $1.99. These are the Skyliner buttons, $1.99. Two requests for the Light Up Minnie Mouse pen, both of which um, these were specific requests. So I do not have extras here, but those are still available for $7.99. The um, appetizer tray from Food and Wine, those were both specifically requested, though they do still have some available if you're putting a list together. The Lion King Booster Set, these are only $9.99, so those make great traders. Then I did pick up a few extra of the limited edition figment pins from Flower and Garden. The hinged Minnie Mouse kind of wreath pen. I think these were $6.99, though I'll just double check. There was a request for one of the Epcot um, holiday ornament pens. You can see in there that one is Figma. I don't want to open it all the way because then it pops the backs. But that one was a specific request. Then let's see here. Oh, I thought I had these all set out and of course I did not. Always Be You Minnie Mouse pen for $3.99. Then I have the Americana pen. I think I have two extra here for $3.99. The um, Rock the Dots, I believe was a specific request, but that one is a limited edition. And then they have this gorgeous Evil Queen one. I believe I have a couple extra there. I wanna say she was $4.99. This Jack Skellington on the tree, this one was a specific request for, I think it was $6.99 or $7.99. Moonlight Magic was a specific request. We did pick up a couple of the Sorcerer Hat ones. Um, one of those might be extra, I think those are $6.99. And then the Princess Castle ones are $4.99. We have Pocahontas, we have Elena, we've got Jasmine, Snow White, um, Tiana. Let's see if we have any of the others. I think that is it. The Trifold Tower of Terror. I believe I only have enough to fill the, the requests that I have, but they did um, have those today. They just ran out pretty quickly, and those are $6.99. Then they did have a few violin. These are the Remember Me um, pins from Coco for $4.99. This one, everybody seems to love. This is where in the world will we go today? And then you just kind of spin it and then it shows you where in Disney World you'll be going for $5.99. Couple of the limited edition cereal box pins. They had the Dumbo one and then they also had the Emperor's New Groove. But they also had some of the Chippendale wreath pin from Festival of the Holidays as well as Big Hero 6. And I did pick up a couple extra of the limited edition unicorn pins, as well as there were a couple of requests, one for Tinkerbell box and one for um, the Aladdin box. So I was able to pick those up. I think I have a couple extra of the Princess Cameo um, pin boxes. These are $6.99 for two pins in there, so you can see what's available. And I think I have, like I said, two extra. Somebody did request a Pixel box, also for, oh, this one is $7.99. Um, but somebody did request it, so that one is taken, as is this one here. But they do still have some of these available. So this is the 20th anniversary of Disney Pin Trading. And you can see that this comes in the collector's box. It's a limited edition of $1,500, originally $100, and they had that for $50. Then as I walk over here, um, I did have a couple of requests for this amazing, it's this huge Disney um, 10th anniversary shopper. This was $150, $149.99. Um, I believe all of the ones that I was able to pick up are spoken for, but if not, those will be posted to the website. The last time that I had the ink and paint plates, I split up uh, one of the boxes, and I do still have one Peter Pan plate left for $6, if anybody would like just the Peter Pan one. Then I also have this awesome dog collar. It is purple with the silver Mickeys for $4.99. And this one would fit a medium-sized dog. Neck of 13 and a quarter inches to 20 inches. 
or probably weight makes the most sense, um, 20 to 50 pounds. So if you have a dog that that would fit. Then I also have a spirit jersey. It is a black spirit jersey with the white lettering, size large for a dog if you have a dog that that would fit for $12.99 instead of $37. So if you were looking to treat your little pooch to something. And then also this one was specifically requested, but um, they didn't have any today. So they are completely out of these at both locations. $2.99, I just happened to have it sitting in my bin. Then a couple of hats that I had left over, $3.99 for each of those, if anybody would like those. And I actually have two of the Yes Queen slate it hat so if anybody would like those all right and then it is just on to the clothing what am i doing i can't go to clothing yet i still have to show you guys all the ears so i do have a few of the halloween kind of mini witch ears for 3.99 then like i said i had a few of the black with the red bow but unfortunately i was not able to get all that i needed um, the aerial ears, I do have a few pair of those, probably about five pairs. Over here, I also have one of these awesome, it is a rolled up little sun visor, sun hat that they had available. And then you can see here a couple of the glitter ones. Now these are all spoken for. I was careful not to get a ton of extra headwear this time, um, but those were all, I believe, $3.99. I do have a few extra of the summer fun ears if anybody wanted the little inner tube ears and then the red with the glitter luckily I picked a whole bunch up when I was there last weekend because there were none to be found this weekend I think we got one pair out of all of the different ear bins and then let's see here if you need a pair of flower ears from last year's flower and garden I have you hooked up I have I think it's about 20 pairs of these gorgeous pink flower ears from last year's flower and garden they are gorgeous they are $3.99 I grabbed a whole bunch because a couple of weeks ago I couldn't find them anywhere and they had a whole bunch of them this weekend so if you need a pair of ears I can absolutely help you with those and then I think I have maybe one or two extra of these 99 cent Walt Disney World kind of um, gold brimmed hats they were 99 cents if I'm not mistaken all right, guys, and then it is on to the clothing. So let's get ourselves situated here on to the clothing. This was a specific request. This is one of the red track jackets, and you can see here um, the original price plus what I paid for it, $19.99, originally $64.99 in a size small. That was, again, it was a specific request. This one may end up being an extra. Um, this is $12.99 down from $36.99. Let's see if I can get you an actual size on this here. This is an extra large. The request was for a large, but we'll just see. A tie-dye Mickey Mouse tee. They do still have a few of these. This one is in a large for $9.99, down from $34.99. This adorable little Minnie Mouse onesie was one that um, I wasn't sure if somebody would want, but I did go ahead and grab it. So this is size 24 months for $9.99, down from $24.99. And it's just like the perfect little romper for a little girl. These were specific requests um, for some young men that are going to be coming to the parks. So I went ahead and I grabbed matching t-shirts for them. Twilight Zone Tower of Terror for $9.99 instead of $24.99. The request was for a medium and then two larges. And I figured what better than a glow-in-the-dark t-shirt for their first Walt Disney World trip. Long-sleeved green tee. They still have quite a few of these for $14.99. Size small, although sizes are running very, very low on those. Could not get any of the bigger sizes in those. $7.99 for a size large of the Minnie and Mickey kind of holding hands. It's a gorgeous t-shirt. Uh, Mandalorian tee. I believe this one is extra. The Mandalorian size medium. Uh, this one might not be the extra one. I think I have a size small that's extra for $12.99. Then this one here, this is a spirit jersey, but it is a kid's spirit jersey, extra small for $24.99. Let's just take a look. Actually, no, that's got to be an adult spirit jersey for $24.99 if it's a... 
extra small. That's much bigger than an extra small for a child. So extra small Halloween one for $24.99. Then let's see here. We have the Castle Leggings size 2X, $14.99. I believe those were specific requests. And then $14.99 for the purple long-sleeved medium. Now, for those of you that are new to the channel and the way that I run this, um, I'm going to or organize all the bags. I'm going to go through the emails to see who wants what. Then anything that's left over, these are going to be posted as extras to the Facebook page, which is Mickey's Magical Delivery. $14.99 extra large. So if there's something you're not really sure, you want to wait and see if it really is an extra, that's where I'll be posting things. $12.99, size large for the red ear hat ones. I try not to get too many extras in the clothing uh, unless it's something brand new. Size 2X for $14.99 in the castle. So typically clothing is going to be requested unless I indicate that it's definitely an extra. $14.99 for size medium in the pink long sleeve. This one may actually be an extra. Let's just check the size on this. This is an extra large. Again, I believe that was requested in a large, so it may be an extra, we'll have to see. All right, and then $12.99 for this amazing, it's kind of a yellow tropical Mickey Mouse print. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This one is definitely an extra. This is a Hey Hey button up for $14.99 down from $59.99 size small so if anybody has a hey hey fan in the family size small for $14.99 and then this I know is the extra this is $12.99 size small the Mandalorian tea if anybody needed that the I'll be your Mickey tea oh my goodness if only they had the I'll be your mini that would have been coming home for me and then one for my husband because it's just so sweet. $7.99, this was a specific request. Then the green one here, this is a size small. I know this was a specific request as well for $14.99. This one, um, I'm not sure how much it is because the tag is ripped off, but it's typically gonna be around $9.99, maybe $12.99, but they do still have a few of these left, not a lot, and this one is a size medium. All right, I know I have, I think, two extra maybe of this $2.99 size extra large. This is from the Flower and Garden Festival 2020. It is Minnie Mouse riding her bicycle for $2.99. We have um, a few of them in extra large. I think I have three, two of them I want to say were requested. Then this would be an example of one that I saw and I fell in love with. So where dreams come true. Just take a look at how beautiful that is. Gorgeous castle with this amazing gold glitter. $12.99. I don't believe anybody had asked for these. Size medium. And then I have another one in a size large. Now, what I love most about this is this is very much like a blouse. So the front is more like a t-shirt but the back is more like blouse fabric. And then you've got this gorgeous D, um, not embroidered, it's kind of screen printed on, but it is just a beautiful shirt and I can see why that would be very comfortable to wear. Um, Minnie Mouse track pants, you can see here, you got little Minnie Mouse there and then the bottom cuff. I know that these were requested, so let's just see here, $14.99, size extra large. They did still have some, again, sizes, it just depends on what they're going to have that day. Pixar Ball uh, track jacket or windbreaker, $19.99, size extra large. They did have a few in different sizes of this particular jacket. And then a request for the Skyliner tee. You can see that there, it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous t-shirt i would have gotten it myself but white t-shirts and i do not mix 12.99 then this one there was a request for a double extra large and i could only find the extra large so if the person does not want that um it'll become an extra for 12.99 so three caballeros for 12.99 awesome 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 tea all right, this would be another example of why it was amazing that I stopped at the store last week because when I went this time, they really did not have very many of these at all, just extra smalls. 
I believe that was the size. $9.99, I have a size 3X, and then I also have a size 2X in these kind of birds of a feather. So it's all the different Disney birds. You can see that they're really, really beautiful. The 3X I know is going to be spoken for, but I believe the 2X is an extra. And last, but definitely not least, I have two of these awesome tie-dye spirit jerseys. I picked these up last weekend. These are $24.99. And let's see the sizes. I have both of these in large. So if you were looking for one of these in large, I may be able to help you out with that. I think one is taken and then the other one will be available. All right, guys, so that does it for the haul video. I hope you had some fun kind of looking through all of the goodies that I was able to find over the last couple of weeks. I'm going to be very busy tonight filling orders, answering emails. So please feel free if you see something that you would like to claim as an extra to send me an email at mickeysmagicaldelivery at gmail.com. I'm not sure if I'm going to be posting to Facebook tonight or if I'm going to wait and post tomorrow. But whatever I have left over will be posted to Facebook no later than tomorrow so that if you wanted to grab something, you certainly could. Invoices, obviously, with tomorrow being Easter, please just plan that you're going to be getting an invoice throughout the week. Um, I will more than likely need all the way up until Friday because grades are due, of course. And uh, we have all those last minute things that are kind of being submitted for the full time job. However, we will get those invoices to you no later than Friday. Again, just a reminder, shopping fee does apply. It is 20% of the merchandise cost with a $10 minimum shopping fee. So please kind of keep all of that in mind as you are checking out some of the different goodies. All right, guys, have a wonderful, wonderful Easter. And until our next video, bye-bye.